What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you the latest news surrounding Destiny 2 and this one although will be a shorter than normal video, within it will be some epic new information about the game going forward. Things like triple tap hand cannons returning and some vital information you need to know about the update 2.0.0. But before we get into that people, every month I give away a fully customizable controller to be in the chance of winning it. Simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. More details will come at the end of the video so stay tuned for that. Okay so the latest Bungie TWAB is now out and although this week it's a short one, some of the info inside of the TWAB is pretty damn exciting so let's get into it. Firstly they state the stats the community has ranked up within the 77 days spanning from the Warmind DLC up until September 4th even though we ain't got that far yet. These are the stats so far. Let's check them out. Faction Rally's had 575 thousand hunters pledged to future war cult, 818,000 to dead orbit and 580,000 to new monarchy, titans 321,000 to future war cult, 552,000 to dead orbit and 575,000 to new monarchy, warlocks 321,000 to future war cult, 648,000 to dead orbit and 404,000 to new monarchy. 20 million future Warcraft engrams were opened, 33 million dead orbit engrams were opened, and 18 million new monarchy engrams were opened. Damn, imagine that as an engram opening video. What the heck? Almost 6.5 million normal raid clears, 757,000 raid lair clears, just over 1.5 billion kills within the Leviathan, and 117 million deaths. 590 million kills within the Eater of Worlds with 45 million deaths, 588 million kills in the Spire of Stars and 37 million deaths, those are crazy numbers people. 263 million public events completed by players, 77 million escalation protocols, 194,000 players have the Whisper of the Worm and just under 9,000 players have the Redrix's Claymore, damn. 807 million shaders deleted. Oh Bungie you damn trolls. And those were the stats guys and some of the numbers are pretty damn insane. Okay so we're going to move on and on to weapons and armors which will no longer be available within the loot pool come September 4th with the Forsaken DLC. Quoting Bungo right here. Checking off one by one, as year one comes to a close, many of you are searching for every available item or piece of gear that can be found in Destiny 2. Some items will still be available in Season 4, such as destination weapons and armor sets. Other year one items will be retired from vendors when Destiny 2 Forsaken releases on September 4th, 2018. These are those, Vanguard, year one weapons, year one armors and seasonal rewards, Crucible, year one weapons, year one armors and seasonal rewards, gunsmith, year one weapons, year one mods which will no longer be obtainable and year one emblems, Ikora, vanguard research packages from meditations, year one armor and year one emblems, trials of the nine, year one weapons, year one armors, year one shaders, year one ships, sparrows and ghost shells, iron banner, year one weapons, year one armors, year one shaders, year one ships, sparrows and ghost shells and cage stashes, year one emblems. While these year one items will be retired from vendors, their stock will be refreshed with new gear featuring random roles, ready for all players to earn in year 2. Some items may return in year 2 but not exactly as you remember them. Come September 4th, a small number of weapons that you know and love will be updated to year 2 standards featuring random roles and the capacity to accept year 2 weapon modifications, absolutely epic. As a final note, players who have obtained these year 1 items can infuse them into higher power levels in year 2. If you're looking to finish your checklist, make sure you read this week's community focus on destinysets.com. This fan made website can be linked with your Bungie.net account to give a full list of items you have yet to acquire, helping you finish off your year 1 collections before Forsaken releases. I will link that website within the video description people if you do want to go check it out. So some weapons will become of that year 2 standard with random rolls. I can't I can't wait to see more people, I really can't. Okay so moving on and we have a small teaser for the live stream explaining the new combat system and all new changes coming. Check it out. Now 
Now the thing I noticed straight up in this trailer, and I'm sure you did too, was that Hank Cannon free tapped that fellow Guardian. This is something the community has wanted for a while, and it's great to see it's what we are getting. Now Bungie have confirmed major adjustments to time to kill in PvP are coming, and will be revealed within this live stream. I seriously look forward to those changes, people I really do. The live stream is next Tuesday, 10 a.m. PDT, basically reset time. Tune in to watch it on either their YouTube channel or their Twitch channel. Links to the TWAB, where these links can be found, will be in the video description so check it out people if you want to now before we end we have some vital 2.0.0 update information caught in Bungie right here destiny update 2.0.0 vital information at the conclusion of the solstice of heroes on august 28th destiny 2 will be updated to prepare for the launch of forsaken in the week between august 28th and september 4th players will see some unusual behavior in game as we make the transition into year two Here's a short list of what players should be prepared for, with more details to come at a later date. In general, collections and the vault will not be available specifically. This includes the collections for emblems, as well as exotic weapons and armor. If players want to have an emblem or exotic item in their inventory during this week, they will need to prepare their inventory ahead of time. Nightfall Strike scoring will not be available. We'll have more information about strikes and how they're changing in Forsaken in the coming weeks. Weeks. So that is that people, you have been warned, get what you can ahead of time if you're going to need it, or if you feel you're going to need it. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video, before we actually end, let me tell you about a giveaway I do every single month. So each month I give away a fully customizable controller for either Xbox or Playstation sent anywhere in the world. To be with a chance of winning it, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below and make sure you're subscribed to the channel and check out the Gleam link linked at the top of the video description, it's fast, simple and legit. I am having problems with Gleam at the minute but don't worry I'm getting the link sorted out so if it ain't there now it will be there over the next few days for sure so come back and check it out but on that note guys we've come to the end of the video thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on the next one